Hello guys and welcome back to Chef Fade Kitchen. A special episode that I like to call Late Night Cooking with Chef A, also known as I've procrastinated all day, so now I'm left cooking my meals in the night time. <laughs> it is currently 2 5 past 2 a.m. FA is in the kitchen. <laughs> it's currently 5 past 2 a.m. Taking this look. So you've got a blonde fringe, blue hair, unintentional, but <laughs> cute, cute. This is a really 90s hairstyle because I'm going to a 90s party. So in the spirit of 90s, we're doing absolutely nothing 90s related. <laughs> so we bring back Chef A's Kitchen Chocolate Chip Cookies Domino... No. Whatever the title was, Chef A's Kitchen Domino's Chocolate Chip Cookies Challenge Take Two. Because I was sitting in my bed and I realised that this cannot run, like this cannot... Chef A doesn't lose, so we're gonna go again. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. I must prove my, I must prove myself. Before I even start, I think I'm gonna get into the stuff I think went wrong last time. So for one, I got excited. Hold on, let me look at my nails and make sure there's no stuff in them so you guys don't judge me. Like I was saying, number one, I got a bit excited and used a hand whisk. So this hand whisk is new to me. Like all this technology and them things there, like I'm not, I'm not used to such, I haven't acquired such, so. I think, to be honest, I think that was one of the major issues. Usually I use my hand, I use my hand and elbow grease, that's what I use. As if, you know, the years of pounding the yam, collecting it from the um, farm, bringing it back from to the village quarters and then into my compound and then pounding it, please. Yeah, is that was the problem. I tried to be lazy and look what it got me, look at it. I'm going to use my hand like I usually used and watch there's gonna be a difference because this 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 whisk yeah this whisk also i don't usually use bicarbonate of soda i literally just don't use it usually so i feel like that was one of the problems as well i don't know if i'll use it in this one i cannot be embarrassed two times in a row so i might just make it the way that i know to avoid any further embarrassment I wasn't listening to the voice of my ancestors like when they were telling me this isn't enough, my child. I wasn't listening. It's important for you to do in cooking. You've got to listen to their voice. They're telling you, I said, it's enough, stop, add more. And you're not listening, see? That's the problem. But today I'm listening, I'm tuned in. You tuned in. We got, we got the connection going. It's gonna be a banger, period. 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 Without further ado, we're gonna get into the video. Okay, I've been training. I've been training for this. Alexa, play that song from Rocky, 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 the film where he's running up the stairs, that one. That's what, that's what I've been doing, I've been practicing. So, Alexa, play it. <laughs> Don't I have an Alexa? <laughs> if I did, Alexa, AKA my editor, play the tune by Rocky when he's running up the stairs. I'm ready. Also guys, don't forget to preheat your oven before you even start any of this. This should be quick, yeah? So 250, you already know how I do. Here's a list of ingredients and equipment that you will need. Chocolate chip, I'll probably be using dark this time. I had someone ask me already if they can use any type of chocolate chip. Yes, you can, to your heart's content. Uh, I don't know if I use bar or soda because the baking soda messed up last time. Butter, vanilla essence, plain flour, light soft brown sugar, granulated sugar, scale, bowl, jug this time, spoon, knife, spoon, and two eggs. Let's get cracking. Guys, did you notice that unintentional pun? I said two eggs, let's get cracking. <laughs> We're gonna start off with, I keep hitting this camera with my boob and it keeps moving the screen. We're gonna start off with 115 grams of butter. We got our butter. We're gonna put that to the side. We're gonna do our sugar. 100 grams granulated. Then we need 200 grams brown sugar. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add, okay, let's take this off. The butter to the sugar and we're gonna mix it by hand. Mm, I can smell the diabetes. This is what I'm talking about. Ooh, you see that? Elbow grease. Your electric mixer could never. I feel like food tastes better when you when you give it love. Like this is love to me. Like you have to speak kind words to it. This is mixed. You want it to look like this. And what you want to do is you just want to try it and make sure like yeah. Mm -hmm. so look, essential. The dry hand 
essential. This is this is what gives it um character. We want to crack the two eggs into the mixture. Then we're going to add a cap full of vanilla essence. Then we're going to mix it again. You know when you were younger, did you think vanilla essence tasted nice on its own? <laughs> well, you were wrong. <laughs> so this is mixed. Look. Look at that. Wow. That's done. I've concluded that I'm not going to add baking soda. I'm going to do it how I usually do it. With no baking soda. So now we need 288 grams of flour. You could run up to 300. Honestly, at this point, do we care? No, it's 3 a.m. <laughs> I care though. 288 on exact plain flour, not self rising, raising. <laughs> like I did last time, you want to fold it in. Yeah, now we're talking, man. Come on, man. Light work. This is how it's supposed to look. Listen, everybody bow down now. 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 Honestly, the way I'm mixing this is actually disgusting because I just deep that I mix it like I mix pounded jam. <laughs> it's the true Nigerian in me, what can I say? This is, ooh, pound that yam. Now, the fun part. We're gonna add a chocolate chip. I'm going to do dark chocolate this time. You might not need the whole packet, but just mix it in as you please. I'm going to use the whole packet because I'm not going to use dark chocolate again. Put that to the side. Clean your work surface. So we've lined our tray with baking paper. We're going to use our ice cream scooper. And we're going to use a teaspoon that should be clean but isn't right now. To scoop up. Remember, you want them to be the equal sizes. You want them to be equal distance apart because they're going to spread. these in the oven for eight minutes we have eight minutes for my ted talk let's go so if everyone is in uni in september a good way to make friends which is what i did in my first year <laughs> is cook like just bribe them all with food and they'll never ever leave ya i bribed all my male friends with food and now look we're, we're best friends still <laughs> On the first day, it may just be uncomfortable, like when you first move into the com and you don't know anyone. And when I first went, my brother told me to um, leave the door open, play music, and people will come and look. And they did. Maybe bake these cookies or something and put them out on the table, and like everyone can like sit in the kitchen and chill together and eat the cookies, and that'll be cute. And then those are your first friends. And then three months down the line, you hate all of them. You don't talk to anyone, and you just go and stay in your room. But for the first three months, that's fun do that but beware okay if yeah someone makes cookies and they put them on the table and they don't eat from them don't eat from the cookies don't 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 do it don't do it eat from those cookies listen please you don't need to be safe and that you can't just be eat for if they're not eating it why, why should i eat it don't believe them don't believe them that's how people be getting poisoned and drugged in their own com don't do it they ain't drink if they ain't eating from it they ain't drinking from it don't don't do it stay safe say no to drugs don't play in the street at night also don't be afraid to try out new foods like there's so many new foods like i know people that just ate rice and chicken and indomie for three years come on we're not but come we're gonna do better than that you're gonna be eating gourmet meals when people say oh yeah you know uni lifestyle uni meals you say no i don't i can't relate because i eat like a queen i do like budget meals because everyone is broke in uni all the time like i don't we get student finance and then we're still broke yeah because we spend it on stuff like the club or hair, or makeup, or stuff that we don't really need. <laughs> Not food. I'm gonna do a shopping series, like 10 pound shop. I had literally like, I did 10 pound shops and I stretched the food, like I made sweet potato burgers, I made sweet potato fries and chips, I made sweet potato pasta, I didn't make that, I'm a liar. I made noodles, I made spaghetti bolognese, I made salmon, and no one will think that you're starving. 
get me and when you have money do bulk shop not bulk shops for stuff that's gonna go off don't be buying no milk unless it's the long life one don't be buying no what goes off none of those food fridge food don't be buying no bulk cheese like come on unless you're making like mac and cheese every day be buying like bulk like noodles rice pasta tinned food and that's gonna last you when your friends are hungry you ain't gonna be hungry you're gonna have food yeah so do bulk buys bulk buys are the, the savior of your life i'm telling you take it from me chef a i wouldn't lie to you i wouldn't i wouldn't lie to you to all my man them out there listen this is your chance to learn how to cook all basic meals you need to be learning how to prepare because these girls will actually be poisoning you and you won't even know your your belly will be hurting for the whole three years and we won't know why yeah because people don't know how to cook their chicken properly so you as an individual hello hi listen well listen to me learn how to cook learn basic meals i'm not saying you need to go and make a goosey soup because you know why cooking is easy and you can do it stop being lazy man them and girl them learn to cook for real for real for real because you're embarrassing us you're not embarrassed god you're just, oh. just keep watching chef is kids i'm gonna give you uni meals 101 in august i'm gonna give you uni meals 101 so that in september you lot you lot's bellies aren't rumbling because listen the food that your mom packed you is only gonna last you three weeks what did you plan to be eating from these uni babes okay i went there spitting in your food Thanks guys for staying tuned. That's been my TED talk. Let me go and see what these cookers are saying to me. All right, all right, darling, all right. We got, we're cooking or something. We got cookies. Eee, look at that. Look at that. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna take them off and put them on a wire rack. Okay guys, I'm gonna do the brake test on one of them. This is what you call, see, no, Domino's who is Chef A's now. Nobody chat to me. Nobody. Mm. No, no. Take an actual good look at it. Here, look, we'll do the brake test again. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, guys, so I was challenged to make Domino's chocolate chip cookies. But um, I didn't do that because Domino's chocolate chip cookies is basic. <laughs> How about that? I made Chef's chocolate chip cookies. Listen, li li listen, listen to me. These cookies, yeah. Let let's look at them. Let's let's take them in. Let's give us, you know, tantalization. Yeah. But just, just focus so you can you can take this in. Wow, wow. Let's talk shape. Let's talk dimension. Let's talk all round texture. Let's talk. Wow, guys, are you taking that in? happy i feel grateful and i feel fulfilled i'm happy because i never expected it i'm beaming i'm beaming because you know what that is that's, that's quality food day quality this is what i made for ovi the first day we got married this is what we ate we shared we broke cookie and and ate on our, on our honeymoon so i mean ours was true love love at first time <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this little challenge. Just put that one out of your head because that one was fake. That was the warm up. We are on over 100 subscribers. So <laughs> thank you guys so much that subscribed to me. I truly, really and truly appreciate it. You've made my whole entire month. Like this has been a great month. And honestly, I just, I don't even know what to say anymore. Like it's only up from here, baby. It's up. Hope you have a great day. Remember, eat well, eat healthy and eat right. Okay, and I'll see you. Oh, the hair is really. Hey! <laughs> I will be seeing your ass in the next video. Bye, guys. It's actually 4 a.m. I'm gonna sleep. I'm tired.